Ah, uh, yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, you know, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes. We men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with me. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me on the funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Jesus, they're shooting at us! Cut them off, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. Oh, my good lord! I should have probably mentioned there's a thousand years old out for my head of men. Let's go with the river. They'll have to stop chasing us with it. Reload from that box at the back if you need to. Come on, we're on, friends here! Take more than one out of 
I expect you'll go out of it pissing your pants. This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, they big brown eyes. That pokey? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it though, a little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? They're still coming! Behind that big rock! Got your handle on here! I dropped a hundred fools like you! I haven't stepped foot in this country, and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on fraternizing with a notorious Irish outlaw. Kill these ungrateful bastards, bastards! Remember any of it, Irish? I see that. The courts have put us ashore up ahead. God damn it, there's another thing. We should be taking up another Irish fella. We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that floating death pack? <laughs> These horses look fresher. <laughs> And healthy! <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, I saw him shoot a man, uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny. But he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played 
tray card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. Hey, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> he was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one. <laughs> Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo. Build the fucking bean eater. Hablo. Slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo. Little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean, you no harm. <laughs> You mean has no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land. Any further unpleasantries? Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? 
No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come well, on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Maísimo! Spanish como una niña! All right, let's go again. Concentrate on all three bottles at the same time. Dios mío! ¿Quién es el borracho aquí? Tú o yo? Let's try one more time. Remember what I told you. wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Sir, you've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do, sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? Ay, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, Senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Easy now. Whoa! What the hell? So why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their head. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Too close!
Come on, these people need me. Just a bit of pain in the knees, damned horse. It's a terrible thing, you know, getting old. One day you catch a glimpse of yourself, and you ain't the same person no more. Your looks have gone, your back hurts, and your pecker isn't working like it's supposed to. See, the problem with old age is, just when you start to understand life, you're too long in the tooth to enjoy it. There they are, follow me. Shooting birds, doesn't it? All right, let's move out. Everybody, stay alert. Let's go. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. Go on, just like I talked. <laughs> Looks like that's all of them. Come on, let's keep moving. So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't, my sour casting little apprentice. Work. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country. My poor little country. And you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's call me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> And I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man, perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, 
an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe you came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no motorless, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor name, Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. We must hurry! Hey! You did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these allies you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williamson's a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. They cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel peace. Mexico is an easy place for a man to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. It's being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. This rebellion, it is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. Just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid. And like cows, they can be hurting. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. 
change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Evolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to... This is a bad time for you to be making enemies, Senor Raston. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes. He's a traitor, a liar, a coward, and a sinner, a hero who has done nothing. I have no more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic horn. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family, a man born in a golden cradle, who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcony, giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's prepared to destroy everything my compatriots have fought and died for, just to hear people shout his name. It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. If there's some bait they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting. This way. Let's go! So!
Todo bien, compadre. You did a good thing for Mexico today. Manuel Allende will be very pleased. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que sepa que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Ay, usted joder. también. Ah, y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uno. Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. Llorón, maricón, me das asco. Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi ex excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito, sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablo es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of? <laughs> A friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind, a fight between two forces. Que sarà, sarà, what will be, 
Will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force, must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. And you head there and you lend your support. Baboso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. Follow me. We must hurry. Come on. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men printing and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in any case, you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance and is impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. My men left some time ago. We're already late. Come on, let's see if you can write. Do you want me to slow down? Go. Can you go any faster? We ain't taking any prisoners, then.
is crying in that house over there. Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos. Buen trabajo. Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. Get the fire bottle. It is time to finish what we started. Por aquí, imbécil. Por qué no me sigue? Go on. Burn it down to the ground. the new girls before they spoil. Mr. Merson, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the men you seek. Come. I have men waiting for us. Just a side escalera. Vamos! What's the hurry, DeSanta? Where are the we going? have taken control of an abandoned fort on the other side of Nuevo Paraíso. Many men. A place called Torquemada. We can allow them to establish a stronghold. The Colonel has given me urgent orders. Which are? To kill them all. I should have guessed. Leave your horse here. You will ride with me. Los rebeldes tienen una fortaleza ahora. ¿A dónde vamos a parar? Habrán reyes tienen un verdadero ejército. Get on the wagon. We do not have time for this. Captain Espinosa has set up camp at the base of the mesa. We will join forces with him there. Wake up. We're drawing near to Torquemada. Stay alert. Something doesn't feel right. Rebels! Hold them off! We're not fucking... It's gonna take more than one of you, partner! Mierda! They're behind us! Let's see what mess that idiot Espinosa has made. Is he that deranged captain at the Sora Azul? Is he leading this attack? He? Espinosa does not lead anything. I thought you was the same rank. He is an angry dog he let out to run sometimes. That is all. I'm in charge here. Follow me. We will leave the wagon here. Hombres se habían habido encargado, nos atacaron. Ten cuidado con ese tono de voz. Más, come on, ignore the stupid. Shut your mouth off, his boy. Gringo, take that sniper rifle over there. We have men to work to do. Por aquí.
mir, Rocío!
ain't nothing but a bunch of women! Pleasures Earth can give a man. <laughs> I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. <laughs> Go get drunk, get a woman, enjoy life. It's a beautiful struggle. <laughs> 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 